let's see. I'm trying to go live here. <laughs> trying to turn my music off. So. Let's see. I think that's working. Okay, that was a crazy start to my to like my live uh, broadcast. I'm really having a hard time trying to figure out all the, exactly what to do, I guess. But uh, and I can't unless I turn this on. I can't see if anybody's. Uh, chatting or if anybody's watching so hang on for just a second let's try that I can turn this all the way down I think that should be it. How do you tell? <laughs> Gosh. All right, I'm going to start this and presume that everything's working. I've got, I have a few cameras here. Right now I'm showing um, a frog piece I'm working on. And I'm looking up in my monitor to see uh, see what's going out. That should be the, the frog piece on metal. I have different cameras here, so if I push this button, there I am looking up at the monitor. This is my studio. This is where I paint. My studio is actually really large, and this is just a small area. I've got a, got a lot more, I have a lot more rooms that uh, take up a lot of space here. There's the back of my head, another view at the, at the frog piece that I'm working on. Now what I'm planning on doing is, I mean I'm just getting comfortable I guess. This is the first time I've done this. I'm going to paint a little bit. I'll show you a few different things. A um, few different techniques, I guess. Uh, I wanted to show off the metal piece. When I switch to my main camera, that gives you a better view. You have to be careful if I run it. If it gives out of focus, it, uh, if I move it too close, it'll go out of focus. But I have a flashlight here in my hand. What I'm going to do with that Shine it up on the piece and move it across really slowly. And you can get an idea of the metal, of the way it changes when the light, when you walk past it. I mean, this is on video, so I'm really, uh, I guess, using my imagination with a flashlight and trying to show off what it, what it does in real life. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's different. Gives a real 3D, 3D look. Uh, gives a lot of depth to the piece by painting on metal. And I was going to actually work on this piece a little bit. Probably add some more green leaves in here. Uh, I thought I'd do that during this next hour. I was going to do this for an hour and see, see how it works. I'm trying to become more comfortable. Make sure that my equipment's working, and uh, who knows? I may be uh, talking to myself right now. Not real, not real sure about that. But I was going to show off a few things too. As long as I'm doing this, and, I, and like I said, I'm going to kill an hour. I'm going to try to kill an hour. I'll turn on uh, this camera. This camera gives me kind of overall look. I'll work on this in a minute, but I just finished a piece of artwork. This is a commi commission piece somebody asked me to do. Sold in the gallery uh, maybe a couple weeks ago. So I kind of 
I had this one started. And it was probably, it was going to ship today, but it, uh, it'll probably go, go out tomorrow or the next day. Clamp that back. Move that forward. Now, this is on metal. And I lower it. Oh, that's not going to lower it that way. Let's see. To do it this way. Oops. Lower it. See how it looks. And take the flashlight again. And see how that's. Comes alive with multiple lights on it. Leaning way forward. Let me push it back a little bit. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to start painting more. Well, the, the aluminum. Pieces. My paintings on aluminum have been doing uh, very well for me, and, and the eye thing, I tried, and it's, it's moving for. I tried, and it seems to be uh, catching on. So it's all about trying to create something that's new and different that nobody's seen before, and uh, somebody wants to hang on their wall. I'll show this. This is just to show off what what I'm known for. My shapes. Put it up here. This is a mini. Um, and the canvas is stretched around a, uh, a frame that gives it the shape. Like I said, this is a mini piece. We really don't sell these. These are uh, gifts. If somebody buys a large piece, we'll, we may throw in one of these if they're if they're interested. Um, but we do do sell. I, I mean, this is what I'm known for. My my larger window windowscapes, window to paradise series, and uh, a lot of them different shapes, different colors, different scenes. In fact, I just got a commission. I, I, somebody wants me to paint a Alaska window, and I'll probably start working on that. That's my next uh, commission piece to do. And uh, I love getting commissions because it keeps me busy, and uh, and it it just really uh, it. It gives me direction if somebody wants, like uh, somebody went to a tr on a trip to on a trip to Alaska, so they wanted they want me to paint a uh, Alaska window looking looking out at. I'm not sure exactly what. I haven't uh, haven't started sketching it or working it out, but I guess uh, uh, it'll be a uh, ocean snow-covered uh, glaciers or something like that. So that'll be my next piece I'm working on. Um, the shutters and the shadows coming through. And the flower here coming through the window and adding sh uh, shadows to the uh, shutter, that's that that's what really helps give these window pieces a three-dimensional feel. Um, they've been very popular 
started about 15 years ago and I don't know I've done uh, 20 or something different window shapes and, and we sell the limited editions we sell the originals of course too but the, the uh, limited editions are what mainly sells in the galleries and this is a this is a fairly newer newer image um, but it's my nighttime by the moon piece it's probably my best selling piece right now it's it's one of my newest pieces and it's probably the fastest selling piece I've uh, maybe ever had even though even though right now uh, uh, a lot of the galleries are well, there's galleries back on the East Coast in, in Hawaii that, uh, that have slowed way, way down. But uh, we, see, we seem to be staying pretty, pretty busy here. And I, I you know, thank God that, uh, that the demand's out there still for my paintings because it gives me, definitely gives me something to do. I love doing this. I, I do it 12 probably a minimum of 12 hours a day I'm out here in my studio painting okay let's see what else do I have here well this is something I started the other night and it's more of a oh it's almost a practice piece when I do something this small and what I wanted to do was just paint a storm and uh, and, and practice on waves. Uh, waves are uh, it's a it's a it's always a learning process, I guess. Doing this uh, painting waves, it, it's it, I get better at it the more waves I guess I paint and and. Uh, and the stormy sky and everything that goes along with it. Um, I've sketched in a uh, a boat here. I was thinking, well, I was kind of looking at the piece, wondering what what can I do? Uh, what can I add to this that would make it interesting? And uh, of course, a ship, a big ship coming through here would be kind of neat. But the wave is such a center of attention right now that I didn't want to do anything. If I were to put a ship in here, it would be like starting over because the wave would actually be behind the ship uh, or or have to cover up most of it. And uh, and by doing this, by adding a, adding a small boat, it, it, it kind of works with the composition. I think it works with the composition. My other thought was to have like, uh, see, this is kind of a blank area right here, and, and, and it's offset by the lighting and everything. So this is a good place to place something, and it could be like a uh, a rowboat, a guy trying to, uh, you know, it's his the ship went down, he's trying to save himself. I was thinking about it, maybe an inner tube out here with a guy in it, but that would be a little bit too crazy, I think. So, even painting this in there, I mean, I had the uh, I had the thought of a uh, big tentacle or octopus kind of uh, eye down here with the tentacles kind of coming up out of here around this, and that may be kind of fun. I don't know if anybody would uh, would be interested in something like that, but it's fun to. I mean, it would be a great like book cover or something like that. But, uh, uh, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And it always amazes me if I do paint something like that. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, there might be ten people that would go, I, I, w I want that piece. So it, you never know. It's, 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 always, uh, it's always hard to predict what, what's going to work in a gallery and what isn't. And it depends on where the gallery is located and who their clientele is and, and uh, a lot of different factors. So this... Uh, this I was thinking of adding about it. So, um, maybe I'll get started. 
Now, I thought I'd, I thought I'd point out, too, if there's any other artists that are watching this or want to be artists. I work mainly in acrylic, but I also use open acrylics in some of the painting. You can use acrylic and open acrylic together. And this open acrylic is uh, it's quite a bit like oil paint. It's got the same consistency. It's water-based. It's not oil. The trick with this stuff is to use their products um, like there's a retar there's a thinner, an open thinner, and an open uh, medium. And it works well with the open uh, open colors. So you can use regular acrylic. You can mix some acrylic paint in with this, and it'll still work as as open. And what it means by open is it it blends better. It'll uh, it, uh, it it blends like almost like oil paint. And uh, but it it tends to dry, I guess, quite a bit faster in oil paint. But it but it's got a lot of the same qualities. And it gives a, it gives it quite a bit. It's almost there. It's almost oil. Um, maybe half the way there because there's still a lot of things. Oil paint is great for blending, uh, doing somebody's face or something like that where you're doing a lot of blending or skin tones or something like that. Sometimes acrylic's really hard to work with. <coughs> but um, oil paint allows uh, allows a much has a much better blending uh, feel and and uh, blending um, time too. Okay, right now I'm just going to use standard acrylic, but these are fluid acrylics, uh, so they dry rather, rather fast. And uh, now another thing is uh, most artists know this, but uh, tend to stay away from black. I'll paint. I'll paint this, but I'll use. To get dark colors, I use uh, blue and orange to make a dark color, or purple and and uh, green, purple and and uh, thylo green. Um, make it real. In fact, that's what I'll do. I'll take some thylo green and. And I'll take a little bit of blue, thylo blue. Those are my two favorite colors. Go through a ton of thylo blue and a ton of uh, thylo green. Those are 90% those are, uh, of air and, and uh, titanium white, I guess, are, are the colors I tend to use more than anything else. Probably. 80 percent, yeah, 80 percent of the time I'll be I use those colors. So I have quite a bit of backup as far as blue and thylo green. Don't want to run out of those. Okay, and probably should have done this before I turned the cameras on. I'm hoping this is working up. <laughs> I'm hoping something's going on. All right, glasses. All right. Okay, I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take some orange too, some uh, that orange. And pretty much with those, what, three colors? You could almost do, well, throw in red and, and yellow, and you can, well, there you go, you can make anything. Now, this is just a real dark.
Now when I paint this in here, the wave's going to be covering up quite a bit of this boat. So the shape, I just want to get the shape, rough the shape in here. Now because this is acrylic paint, uh, in under five minutes this will be dry. And if I start using the, if I start using the open, open acrylics, they'll stay wet for, oh, half an hour, an hour or so, they'll still be tacky. So you got a little bit of knowing when to use what, I guess. I wouldn't want to put use this. I mean, I could just start off with the open and just start painting on here. But the reason I'm not is because I'm trying to work fairly quick to I want to actually produce something. Now, Go too crazy because yeah, that's going to be covered up by the way. Most a lot of it's going to be covered up. Okay, so now I'm going to make a little bit of brown. I'm going to use a, take a little bit of yellow, yellow and purple. Yellow and purple are going to make good brown. A little bit of white. So I'm just going to throw a little bit in here. And that's. bright now the way I'm looking at this too the, the light would probably be coming mostly off of the lightning there shadow. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, while this is drying a little bit, When it takes medium, uh, squirt it on my palette. And this is just a dark color. What I'm going to do here is just go over the bottom of this. I'm just going to fade in. I'm going to use my fingers. Just kind of smear it out a little bit. Um. 
the paper top and the paper top. Now I am kind of waiting for this paint to dry just a little bit before I get to do nuts. But I'm going to get a different brush with a little bit more of a fine tip on it. This one. Just going to highlight this a little bit. Guy's gonna have to be in, in here too, but that'll be the last thing I'll do. Okay, and that's sort of it. Sort of. All right, now I have the paint still dry, but I gotta I have this chalk outline here. I'm gonna try to kind of get rid of it a little bit. This will be lit up on this side of the boat. Back here. A little bit. Like that. It'll also be lit up on the edge over there. But I'm not going to worry about that edge because it's going to be... I'm just going to take... It'll be uh, hidden a little bit because the wave... That boat's way on top of the water, and it's the only way that's going to look good is if that that wave's crashing over the top of that boat. <laughs> so I'm taking a little bit of uh, open titanium white. I can throw in a little bit of uh, phyllo blue and phyllo green. A little bit up there. A little bit. And it's a little bit of purple so it's not too bright. bright. It gives me more. Now this wave has got it gotta really change. It's it's not gonna look like this. So it's gonna it's gonna be coming over the boat here. Somehow. Oh, 
darken that. Thing. open acrylic right now and it's giving it that it's giving it that uh, wave look let's bring this Possibly going back to that way, just kind of bringing this back a little bit again. Now, a lot of times I'll take a painting like this and play around with it quite a bit before I get uh, before I get it where I want it. Now this wave's breaking here, so it'd be, uh, there'd be some wave would be over on the other side because it's like breaking through the wave, so it would be something. Yeah, like that. 
can pull it front of the wire. Okay, I Finer brush. <laughs> uh, I my brush. Get this. Okay, then take a little bit of orange, and yellow, the white. All right, that's starting to look a little better. Now you can see the boat's starting to look a little distressed. Uh, let's see. 
need some real dark color to put underneath here. All right, we need to highlight that wave a little bit more. Take some Making water look like water can be really hard. <laughs> we got splashes and we have water droplets flying all over. And it's got to look free form. It's got to be random. If you, if you, it's hard to describe. But if you, uh, if you plan it out, well, I, sh I shouldn't say that. Some of it, some waves are pretty, pretty uniform. But uh, sometimes it's got to look. Kind of chaotic. And I kind of like that. Now, what you can do too is take some thylo green, a little bit of blue, a little bit of white, mix it with a bunch of medium. like especially in the daytime like, got to be careful nighttime seeing that might be too much because I got it's dark yeah I'm gonna mix a little bit of purple with it and bring that it's too bright And purple, you got to be careful with. I just added some purple to it, and it just just a teeny bit of purple just really was overwhelming. Too much. Now, I like the way this is going.
I need something up in, up in, up in there. It's got to be real faint. So I can go back over to this. And I'm just going to have these waves. And all these ripples in the water. Now, when I look at this piece, I think the guy was sitting here. His, he would be sitting, leaning forward. And, uh, boy, how would his, let's say his oars would be coming out this way, not out that way, down this way. Like he'd be pulling, pulling real hard. Yeah. I was going to work on that frog piece a little bit before before my eye was up, but it's almost up. Have a have a little bit more time. There is from a different angle. Yeah. <laughs> the cameras it, it looks totally different. Different cameras. Let me, uh, if you guys watch it out there, I can take this camera. It's on this camera. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, I shouldn't have done that. I'll be all right. I'll be fast. Tighten up. Now let's just take a piece of chalk. And if a guy was in here, he could, the bottom would be right there. So the legs would be, I would just like speed, they'd be up. And I'm pressing against it, it keeps coming up and down. Probably something like, almost like that. Maybe sitting here, let's go way back. And his back would be up like this, head would be about right here. Arms stretched out. And Let's just think. Maybe go in the water about right there. And go in the water about right there. Now he'd be pulled. That would be about. He'd actually be back if it was, it was like that. He'd be like back like this, pulling on him. More like that. So if this is coming down like that, like that, he would be, that wave would be really hitting him right in the side. If he was way forward, then these things would be up like that. Yeah, that might be better luck, actually. 
putting forward in the, in the, in these things way up front. Paint's kind of wet, so let's look at this again. So, let's see if his things are, eh, it'd probably be, let's say the pivot points right there and there. So, where is this? It would be right about like that. And it will wave. This one, well, this one might be flying off the top or something crazy. Maybe about like that. No. Yeah. More like, let's see, I almost want to put it more at any of them. Like that, like he's Pulling. Huh. See, sometimes you really gotta play with this, make it work. I mean, there's a lot of ways. This would work a lot of different ways, actually. Let's see, the pivot point would be about right there. Let's go back to here again. I think it's like that. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe going down in the water, maybe hitting right there. Maybe the one under right there. Kind of like that. And then, where would it be? His arms should be holding. His arms should be here. Hands would be there and there. Still be back in there. There's some butt to be here. Those to be stretching way up here under that thing. More like pulling back. <sighs> yeah. Problem with that is it's covering it. It's covering up the wave. How can I do this? Uh, it's gonna have to be like that. Might be a little big. Maybe this guy's smaller than that. Maybe he's on a little, a little smaller. Not too big. Yeah, so his head's punched over forward heads here punched over forward this one's coming down pulling on that and it's way over to that side so you have to be over this one now. Okay. A bit back there. Even if his shoulders are more turned like this, and like it's hitting him. Yeah, I like that. His shoulders are more turned a little bit. So it's like it's hitting him in the back.
Okay, it's 7 o'clock. I was going to go an hour. You can see me work for a while. I was expecting you a little bit more done, but I think I'm going to switch it off. And uh, I'm going to try to do this every Tuesday at uh, 6 o'clock on Tuesdays. And if it works out, next week either you can watch me. Maybe I'll finish this up next week. Or maybe I'll finish it before then. Have it ready to show. Or maybe I'll just turn my, you know, because I have cameras in here, if this is working pretty good, I may just do this, just paint and turn the cameras on and watch people let me watch as I, as I paint. Um, thanks for watching. And... I'll say goodbye, but I'll turn my little uh, intro thing on so I can uh, so I walk over to my control panel. I can do this. Let's see if I go here and press that. Oops, no sound. I didn't know it was so out of focus. Shoot.